How many extraction games have you played that have felt nearly identical? The Cycle Frontier, Escape from Tarkov, Marauders, Modern Warfare 2's DMZ, and now Star Siege Dead Zone. Is it hype or nah? How's it going everybody? My name is Magneti. Welcome to the Mothership, your all-in-one extraction news source. So what is up with Star Siege Dead Zone? So is Star Siege worth any hype? Short answer, no, not really. And the player base proved that because it had a 5,000 peak active player base and now it averages 10 players daily now. Concurrent players. Star Siege is just too similar to all the other extraction shooters on the market. The hub is the same as every other extraction shooter on the market. The concept of guns is way too simple. Guns and armor, like, okay, there's like 12 different guns, that's it. No, like, attachments or like, it, there's just better tiers of the same gun. Like, okay, that's cool, I guess. There's like exotic weapons and unique weapons, and I don't know, that's all right. But there is perks, so I guess that kind of sets it apart. There's no overarching objective though. There's contracts, just like every other extraction shooter. You know, there's no missions really, like it's just kind of the same bland extraction shooter exoskeleton that we've been staring at for the past two, three, four, five, seven years. And honestly, it kind of just feels like a money grab. You know, it's free to play and they have a $50 developer supporter package, which I see people running around with that cape on all the time. Uh, it, it's just, there's already a cheater problem. Like, you know, it, it's frustrating to see a game with such potential like Star Siege to just get dumped on. And it's unfortunate. Now, is it fun? Yes. However, obviously there are caveats to that. It is an extraction game. Like I've stated, it's the exact same extraction game exoskeleton that we've seen. You know, it has the normal extraction shooter mechanics that make extraction shooters fun, but it's just slightly annoying. For example, I ran into an issue the other day before I decided to record this video. I was in a completely dark room where I was getting ready to extract. I had a lot of loot on me. I had shot all the lights out of the room and uh, somehow somebody saw me and shot me in the head and I had seven HP left and um, I didn't even see them. I don't know where they came from. I had the gamma turned all the way up. Uh, nothing I could have done there. And uh, th that that's just annoying. Like there's no reason that a game should be that dark or that there should be, you know, people should be going into their monitors to up their gamma just to play a game. Like either make the gamma slider better or like add night vision, like remedy your game to have more options, more things to fiddle with. For example, crafting, okay? Make it a skill or something so that you can craft different items. Like at least look at Marauders where you've got, you know, the higher your level, you can buy different crafting recipes. And I think Star Siege Dead Zone has a lot of potential because they have some unique aspects. For example, their armor has skills. They have a skill system. They have perks. They have abilities and they have perks that affect your abilities. They have perks that don't affect your abilities that are just general. And and all of these things I feel are fairly unique in this aspect. The setting is decently unique. It's a sci-fi spaceship battle royale extraction shooter kind of concept, which is somewhat unique of a setting. I mean, it's not entirely unique, but you know, it's something. It just expand upon these. And I'm not sure how large the development company is. It's just really unfortunate that they had to do a extended release or always accessible early access kind of situation. They should have done a closed beta like Ascendant and Hawked are doing so that there wasn't a massive fan base coming in and just shitting on the game because it's unfinished. Even though they've explicitly stated that it is in early access, that doesn't stop people from saying, fuck this, I'm never going to play this game ever again. The last thing I want to mention is giving it another chance. You know, giving a game another chance, giving it time and waiting, and then giving it another try is always advisable. You know, waiting for updates, patches, fixes, different mechanisms for anti-cheat, those types of things, and then trying again. Always advisable in my opinion, just like when you have a bad experience for the first time at a restaurant and it was busy, you know, maybe you come back at another time when it's less busy and then maybe the service was better. That's neither here nor there though. I do want to mention that 
that a recent update that they just put out at the end of September had a lot of patches and fixes for a lot of different things. They did actually add a couple of different things like meta balancing, for example. The only thing they didn't really do a whole lot of is actually add more content. They did add graphical or maybe fix the graphical effects for the jetpack boot things, which was pretty cool. But that's something that I feel that they really need to do is add more content. I don't know, make a skill tree. You have the skills there, make a skill tree. A skill tree could be cool. Adjust or advance the leveling system. Get rid of the ranked leveling system unless you get a ranked mode. Nobody really cares about the whole bronze, silver, gold thing unless there's an actual competitive ranked mode outside of just the normal solo trios load up. I feel really bad for this development company because their game got shit on pretty quick. I mean, I'm not explicitly saying that people have gone out and literally shit on this game, literally and metaphorically. I, I highly doubt anybody has actually taken a dump on this game. But again, I just feel as though 5,000 active players to 10 average daily at a time concurrently is really sad and unfortunate. And I think this game has a lot of potential and I hope to see it thrive and prosper. I'll keep trying this game once in a while and probably continue to make updates on this game for you guys here and there. However, this game is not going to be on the repertoire of videos that I cover consistently. Other than that, stay tuned for updates on Star Siege Dead Zone and other extraction game content in hopes that Star Siege gets better. But other than that, we'll talk again real soon. Peace!